Hey guys, my name is Natalie, I'm 18 years old and I'm new on YouTube. So when I went to edit this video, I couldn't hear myself at all, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover. So yeah, what I really wanted to let you guys know is that I'm really new at this and I'm just experimenting stuff, so I'm just really trying this out because a lot of people have been telling me to do it and I love makeup, so I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. So first, we're gonna start off by using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. And I use this a lot because I have a lot of pores, so I'm just going to be applying this where my pores are at. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I love this foundation because it doesn't have SPF, so that means no flashback when you take pictures with flash. So to apply my foundation, I'm going to be using the F80 Flat Kabuki Brush by Sigma. And I've been using this brush for like over a year and I love it so much. It helps me apply my foundation even onto my face. It doesn't like apply more on one side than the other. It just applies evenly throughout the face. So as you can see, I'm dragging my foundation down to my neck because my foundation is a little bit darker than my actual skin color. So I don't want my face and my neck to be two different colors. That's why I'm dragging it down. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm going to be using two. The first one I'm going to be applying is in the shade Medium. And the second one I'm going to use the highlight is in the shade Light Pale. So I'm going to be applying the concealer under my eyes and the bridge of my nose, my chin, the middle of my forehead, and above my lips. So to blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using the Beauty Blender. And a dupe for the Beauty Blender that's $20 would be the Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. And it's only $6 at Ulta and it's just as good as the Beauty Blender. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. And the brush I'm going to be using to apply the powder is the e.l.f. Blush Brush. Even though it's meant for blush, it just fits perfectly under my eyes just to apply powder. So I'm applying powder because I don't want my concealer to crease. To cream contour my face, I'm going to be using the NYX Concealer Stick in the shade Nutmeg. And I'm just going to be applying this right on my cheekbones, on my forehead, and at the tip of my nose. To blend out my contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe M436. This is a dupe for the MAC 130, which is really expensive, so I recommend this one from Morphe. I'm also blending out my contour with the Morphe G30 and this is just a really precise brush to contour and that's why I'm using it. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be using the Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown and this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the brush I'm going to be using to fill in my brows is the Morphe M160. So to fill in my eyebrows, I'm just going to start off by outlining the bottom of my eyebrow and then I'm just going to go in and fill in the sparse areas. Then I like to fill in my arch because I don't really have one, so I just like to emphasize that. And you just want to make sure that the tail of your eyebrow is darker than where your eyebrow actually starts.
So after I finish using the pomade to fill in my eyebrows, then I like to go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in the shade medium to dark 380. And I love this because it just sets your eyebrows in place and it just doesn't let any of them move anywhere. So to prime my eyes, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because I did not find my Urban Decay Eye Primer. So now I'm just going to apply this to my eyes and then I'm just going to set it with the same powder that I set my concealer with. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using two palettes today. The first one is the Z palette, and it has Morphe Singles inside. And the other one is the Lorac Pro palette. And the one I'm going to be using for the crease is in the shade Light Brown. The brush I'm going to be using today for my crease is the Morphe M441. I'm just applying the Light Brown shade from the Lorac palette directly into my crease and blending it out. And I'm just going to repeat the same step until I get it how I want it. So to apply my lid shade, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics flat brush just to apply it onto my lid. And the shade I'm going to be using is a Morphe Single Shadow in the shade Secretive ES71. So I'm just packing on this eyeshadow onto my lid. And at first, it didn't come out how I wanted to. It's just too light for me. And just to intensify the pigment, I used the MAC Fix Plus and I applied it onto my brush. And then I just dipped it into the eyeshadow and put it on my lid. And you can just tell the difference. It just looks way better. The pigment is just way better. So to blend out all the harsh lines, I'm going to be using the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. And this is just going to help blend out all those harsh lines and just gonna make it look really smooth and really pretty. I'm just applying more of the lid shade just because I felt like when I blended it, some of the lid shade came off. So I just wanted to intensify the lid shade over again. So I'm applying more of the light brown shade and I'm just gonna be applying it with the Sigma blending brush in E25. So for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to be using the shade Beige from the Laura Pro Palette. And I'm also going to be applying that right on my brow bone. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to be using the Sigma E21 Smudge Brush. And I'm just going to be using the same shade that I used on the lid. Just to go over the harsh lines that I made from blending, I'm just going to be going over with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So for my lashes, I'm going to start off by priming them with the Tarte Lash Enhancing Primer. And then I'm just going to go over with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. So for highlight, I'm just going to start off with the Benefit What's Up, and I'm just going to be dabbing that right above my contour and right where the sun would naturally hit. And then over that, I'm just going to be putting the Jar Cosmetics Powder Highlight in the shade Marilyn. To apply the Jar Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Marilyn, I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics Fan Brush. I'm just applying the highlighter right above my contour on the bridge of my nose, right above my cupid's bow, 
and right above my eyebrows. And then after that, I'm just setting everything and just blending everything out with my flat kabuki brush by Sigma. So for bronzer, I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun, and you have to be careful with this bronzer because it's pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And I'm just bronzing on my skin right where I cream contoured. So to contour my nose, I'm going to be using the same bronzer, and I'm just going to apply it with a BH Cosmetics brush. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte blush in the shade Thrilled. And I'm just going to be applying it with the Bare Minerals blush brush. And I'm just going to be putting it right on the apples of my cheeks. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using Milani in the shade Matte Naked 61. And then going over the lipstick, I'm just going to be applying the Jar Cosmetics highlighter right on the cupid's bow. So to finish off the look, I'm just going to be applying MAC Fix Plus just to set my makeup. So that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really hope to be improving my video quality and everything else. It's just my first time doing a video, so I'm really new at this. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you guys.